hi everyone okay up till now we have created a hello world agent and we have understand what is intent and we have understand what is custom entity how to create a custom entity and uh, we have getting started with fibers functions in this video we are going to connect this fibers function with our bot okay so um, now I'm not connecting the function with this hotel booking agent but I'm creating a new agent uh, a new simple agent because this agent is little complicated now uh, so I'm, I'm going to create a simple agent a new agent to understand it easily okay I'm going to name it to full, full agent agent uh, because we are making it to understand the fulfillment okay earlier we have discussed uh, the three building blocks uh, of dialog flow are intent entity and fulfillment so we have understand intent and entities now we are going to understand fulfillment okay right so okay we have created a new new agent now we are going to create a function to connect uh, with it okay simply I go here and I create a new directory file I'm using fulfillment mm. okay, not understanding fulfillment and here I'm going to create a new Firebase project. Get started with Firebase function here and right here. And the command is Firebase init functions. Right, right. So I write this command Firebase init functions right here. You proceed. Yes okay let associate this project directory with a firebase project you can multiple project so we want to select our this project this project we have created in in our last video here is the here is the name of our project uh, okay then find this project in here okay right here our project is right here so select this doing this in a start will help you uh, in deploying okay they are asking me do you want to install the dependencies with npm now okay yes if you associate your project with a firebase project in in beginning uh, so no need to associate it again when you're deploying okay guys firebase function is just initialized so close it and come here and open it with VS code okay and we have function we have index.js page and simply uncomment this line and name it webhook We will use this function as webhook, so we are naming it webhook. Okay. From this function, I'm simply returning the uh, a string, a speech, hello world response from webhook. Okay, how do I know I should return this uh, JSON object? So I will deploy this, and meanwhile it is deploying. We will discuss how do I know to return something like this. Okay, right. Simply press Control plus backtick to open uh, this terminal. Uh, which VS Code provides built-in 
I simply write Firebase deploy. Okay, it is deploying. Meanwhile, it is deploying. We go and explore the document of Dialogflow. Here is the document. Open it in new tab. And simply go to fulfillment. Here is here is it. Okay. Here is the request and response objects. So I'm just returning a speech, a string. We can also return the display text, data, context out, source, and follow up event. We will discuss these things later. Now we are uh, we are going to understand how fulfillment works. So we are we are uh, making a bare minimum thing which use fulfillment. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Our function is deployed and here is the link copy uh, here is the link actually copy this link go to browser open new tab click this and test this okay it is working as expected okay the URL is ready to use as webhook so come back to dialog flow uh, fulfillment agent which we have just created to test how fulfillment works okay so simply go fulfillment here and enable webhook okay enable it and simply paste the URL here uh, this is URL of firebase function which we named webhook okay right and simply save it you can also write the firebase function right here by enabling this you can write code here but, but this is not recommended you can use one of them uh, at the same time if you enable webhook you cannot use the inline editor if you're using the inline editor you cannot use the webhook uh, url uh, writing inline code is uh, is easy but not professionally okay come back to our intent and create a new intent first just name it first intent and user will say hi and save it okay there are five components in an intent but there is a sixth now appear as you add the fulfillment URL, as you add the webhook, as you enable the webhook, it will appear one more option. Please check to use webhook. Okay. Use webhook. So when you use webhook, uh, Dialogflow expect the response from the webhook, not not from here, not from here. To simply write here, server is down, or well, maybe something went wrong. Okay. So when you check the uh, use webhook, um, Dialogflow aspect response from the webhook, uh, Dialogflow simply uh, hit the URL with the request which we, we have added here and wait for 5 seconds uh, to, to get the correct response. If the response doesn't come in 5 seconds or, or response come with the bad data structure, uh, so it, it just simply throw this message to the user if Dialogflow is throwing this message this means something went wrong your server is down or maybe not something not good happened okay here is another option use webhook for slot filling we will discuss it later okay and simply save it and to invoke this intent you just have to say hi you say hi and hit enter and it is responded hello world response from webhook okay right this response is coming from our webhook our webhook project from here from right here i'm just changing it and deploying it again mm -hmm. and deploying it again if i just deploy Okay, our function is deployed. 
with the changed text. So if we come back to our this, say hi again, and it will respond with changed text. Okay. Now understand the architecture of those complicated things. Let's say we have our dialog flow bot right here. And here we have our server, our Firebase function, and maybe in this server, maybe a PHP server, a C sharp server, a .NET server, a Java server, any server, right? This is our server. And we say hi to our bot. We say hi to our bot. It send a request to our server. It send a request to our server and expect a proper response from server back. Okay, right. This is called request. And this one is called response. And you can find the request and response uh, document here, right here. This is the structure of request. When uh, Dialogflow send a request to the server, it will actually send this JSON, right? In this JSON, you can find the timestamp, the session ID, the result, the parameters we have collected. We can find that parameters in this we can find the actual query user have write in okay and a lot of things we will explore uh, all these things one by one all right and it will expect a response like this when when our server responds to dialog flow it should be a json with at least a speech key right so here was our fulfillment uh, our first fulfillment so try to do it yourself see you in next video okay bye bye